Oh, here's the shop. Let me take out our money. I need to buy some food to eat. Oh, this ribbon's close. Oh, shoot, I took them by accident. And I totally blamed everything on Mukuna. What am I going to do now? Hi, Sam. Hello, Mom. How was your day? So, it was pretty bad. What's the matter? Well, basically what happened was, when we finished with training and went to the locker rooms, even schools were missing and we all thought it was Muhammad because he's new and we thought we all attacked him and blamed him for stealing Ivan's clothes but when I was going home I found the clothes in my backpack it was an accident and took them by accident. Why did you do that? Just because he looks different than you, it doesn't mean you should not turn him. He's just like you, a kid who likes playing football. Yeah, but he's totally different than us. It was his first training session and immediately something goes very bad and we all thought that he came here just to steal You should tell everybody what you did and apologize to him Okay Oh man, I can't stop thinking about what I did to Muhammad How could I do that to him? I need to learn to tolerate other people that I don't know We all thought that it was Muhammad who stole the clothes but he was innocent I did all the best stuff, it's, the whole blame should go on me, but I can't do that. If I was to say the truth, what my mom told me, the coach and everybody and Muhammad, they were all in the time of Bele and I set up Muhammad for this, but I don't want that to happen, so I need to figure out something. I know, I will go first to training tomorrow and when nobody is there, I will put the clothes under the bench and then when everybody comes, they will be surprised and they will think that we didn't see them and the clothes were there the whole time so nobody will suspect me Okay, there's nobody here I will just put the clothes here and they will think that to see us mistake I found my clothes today. They were under the bench all the time. See? I told you. You should never jump to conclusions like that. Did you apologize to that boy? Yes, I did. We all did. Don't worry. So, you should learn how to be tolerant. And that means you should respect everybody. Even they're different than you. If you want to be tolerated and respected, that's how the world works. If you're intolerant and do bad stuff, the same will come to you and the same goes on the opposite side. If you're tolerant, good things will follow you. Yeah, mom, you're all right. Hello, I'm Ivan from Macedonia, from the municipality of Lozo, in the central region of Macedonia. And with uh, my fellow students, we made a video about tolerance and now we're going to say some short uh, but thoughtful quotes about tolerance. Football needs to show unity and solidarity. Hi guys, my name is Ivan. And my message for tolerance is fair play, tolerance and team spirit. Sports have a unique potential to develop and reinforce positive life, skills and values. Hi, my name is Spina and my message for tolerance is Football is a common language in understanding, respect and tolerance around the world. Hey, my name is Luca. Tolerance with means fair play. Let's play football with respect. Hi, 
My name is Yolanda, and my message for tolerance is respect diversity play against prejudices. Hi, my name is Ivan. My message from tolerance is sports bring people from different social, economic uh, backgrounds together. Hello, my name is Eva and my message for tolerance is football should say zero tolerance towards racism. Hello, my name is Muhammad, sorry, my name is Leon and my message for solidarity is respect for human dignity, mutual understanding, the spirit of friendship, solidarity and fair play.